Hey all, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday today, right? No, it's actually Tuesday. I don't know what day it is, but regardless, I am feeling so, so called today to talk about how revolutionary it is when we let our heart and soul guide us to creating a life of our dreams, to living an expansive life that is so far beyond the conditioned boxes that society tries to put us in. You know, society, like, especially, you know, I grew up in Canada. I've been living in Europe, in Austria for the last three years. But specifically, like, my experience with the Western lifestyle, and by Western, I mean, like, Canadian, North American lifestyle, is we're so groomed and programmed of all of these boxes that we're supposed to check. That, you know, we go to school, then we go to college, and, you know, we get married, we buy a house, we do all these things. And that's what is supposed to make us happy. That is what is supposed to make our souls burn brightly. And I can tell you, for those of you that are new into my field, I lived that life. And there was such a huge part of me that felt shut down, that felt unexpressed. And when I started to travel, however many years ago, four or five years ago, five years ago, it opened my whole mindset up and opened my eyes to this whole world out there to see and to experience. And it made me look at the life that I was living. You know, I had a mortgage. I was working for a bank. I had already kind of stepped out and started to do some entrepreneurial stuff to try to to create a life outside of the confinements of like a nine to five job. But when I started to travel, it made me realize that all of that was like, it did not light me up. And so I walked away from basically the white picket fence lifestyle because at that point in my time, I mean, I was, I was in my early 20s. I had tied myself down to all of these things that really anchored me to the rest of my life looking a certain way. And there was, there was no adventure. There was no excitement. There was no passion. And so I shifted my life. I shifted my circumstances to support me and be, to be able to create a life of adventure, to create a life in which I allow my passions to drive me and to lead me. And this resulted in a whole bunch of traveling. This resulted in me meeting my soulmate in Cuba on a bus, me moving across the ocean with my dog to join said soulmate in Austria where he currently is living. He's from Ireland and living a life outside of the ordinary. Living a life outside of the boxes that I was conditioned to check in order to be happy. And I think that one of the most revolutionary things that we can do in our time is to let our hearts and our souls lead us and um, to be brightly ourselves outside of the conformity that is so conditioned where we kind of just all end up looking the same and acting the same and we don't end up being in our creative expression because we're just like it's groomed out of us we're not we're not taught or it's not instilled in us to be in spirit to be inspired to be uniquely ourselves to be different to go down the the path, the unbeaten path. And this is where change is made. This is where paradigms are disrupted is when we allow ourselves to be, to forge, to be frontiers, to explore down paths that are less traveled and discover what it is that makes our souls burn brightly and to be completely ourselves, our own unique selves and allow that to be enough. And you know, like I haven't always felt safe to be seen, to be, I haven't always felt accepted as a hundred percent myself. So I've in the past, I've really like 
dimmed my light to make other people uncomfortable and to make other people more comfortable. And that's something that's so, so taught and that taught that we want to fit in, that we, we want to be accepted. We want to be seen. We want to be loved. And, um, but it's actually like a false sense of safety. And we end up denying ourselves our, like our soul's purpose and our soul's passion if we don't allow that to lead us, if we just continue to hold ourselves back just because that's what's comfortable. And I can tell you the greatest shifts in my life, the greatest growth in my life has happened outside of my comfort zone. I am usually pretty uncomfortable because I'm always pushing that edge. I'm always expanding myself into new levels of creativity, new levels of growth, new levels of success, new levels in my marriage, new levels in my relationships, in all of it. I'm always pushing myself, like leaning into the uncomfortable because I know that that's where, that those are portals where we're uncomfortable are portals into that next level, into that expansiveness. And so that's just what's really, really on my heart today. I've been We're approaching my um, three-year anniversary of moving across the world, and I always get very reflective around this time of year of that fierce, wild 24-year-old that, I mean, it was 25, that moved across the world, that let her gut instinct and her heart take her to all corners of the world to allow that fire to lead her and... I really honor her. I really honor that younger version of myself that that did that, that allowed myself to do that, that allowed myself to completely deconstruct my experience and my environment to start something new. Um, yeah, life's too short. Life is too short to do anything else than what makes us happy and anything else than what our soul desires And so my invitation for you is to ask yourself, what is it that you really want? What is it that lights you up? What can you begin to shift in your life to align with your soul's desires? So as you know, if you've been hanging out in my field for the last few weeks, you know I've been talking a lot about Soul Series. Soul Series is a journey back home to yourself in which... Mm. I am going to guide you to coming back to your soul. I'm going to guide you to breaking that pattern of looking outside of you, of reaching outside of you for the answers and fully surrendering and tapping into your own channel, into your soul and into your connection to God, to source, to the divine So Soul Series is going to help you uncover what it is that your soul desires. It's going to help you uncover what your soul's frequency is because it's going to clear out all of the static that you have picked up along the way from our very noisy world that we exist in so that you can really come home to what your soul's energy is and let that be your guiding light. So this is the last week to register, so I'm going to drop the link in the comments for you to check out. Check out the page, feel into it, feel if it's aligned with you, you will know. You will know if this is the next shift that your soul is seeking. It is a very, very unique offer specifically for those souls that are ready for this shift. So you will know. You will know when you look at it if it's right or not. And there's no judgment if it isn't in alignment with you right now. We're all in, we're all where we need to be at this point of time for the perfect reason. We're always being guided. Our soul has made contracts and agreements to the path of our evolution, to the path of our awakening and remembrance of our own divinity, our own power, and yeah, our own light. So I love you and I encourage you to be a bit of a rebel and a badass today and do something out of the ordinary. Do something that scares you. Do something that makes you feel uncomfortable because it's out of your um, out of your safe cocoon of comfort. And yeah, do something that lights you up. Have a great day, everybody.